Have you ever wondered who the biggest bullies on earth are? Maybe it was that one kid who stole your lunch money in the fourth grade. Maybe it was the Xbox 360 game chats. No. Wrong and wrong. The biggest bullies on earth are the people in the comments of Instagram videos. I don't know why. I don't know when it started. But anytime anyone posts a video on Instagram, the comments are just straight from hell. You're hilarious. Shove seven McDonald's cheeseburgers in my ass. I've made like four videos on this and I'm back with another one because I've got some truly evil stuff to show you today. So let's begin. Starting off, we're gonna see what happens when you put 10 fat people in a room. Let's watch. So they're watching probably, you know, Jimmy Kimmel or something. Or honestly, probably the Food Network. But as you can see, it's just some large ladies watching TV, minding their business. Let's see what the comments had to say about this. I know that set of stairs in the back has never been touched. That was the top comment. I know that sofa is screaming for help. I love when people see fat people. The first thing to comment on is like feeling bad for the furniture. Chairs aren't built for people that big. So someone commented, everyone needs to be nice. It looks like they have a lot on their plates. You know, that's, that's a fun little zinger there. Strongest couch in the universe. Again, just... The furniture is getting all the praise right now. Someone commented a gif of Dr. Now from uh, My 600 Pound Life, which, you know, he may be needed. Next up, we're going to talk about this fella who has a little bit of an insecurity. Let's watch. Cover what ruins your face. You know, he looks fine right now. And then clearly, I wonder if, you know, how many emeralds I could get for a stack of wood. I don't know. He looks like a Minecraft villager. But let's see what the comments have to say. At least he, at least he knows about it. Bro went from Timothy Chalamet to Ratatouille. I, I think they misspelled Ratatouille. That's really unfortunate for the guy. He has good looking face, but b besides the nose. Bro, don't listen to the haters. Just keep covering your face. I wonder if there's like, you know, some sort of implant he could get where he could just live like this permanently. Obviously, we got the Minecraft uh, villagers. And he <laughs> is a good one. He can smell Sunday dinner on a Wednesday. And then two emeralds is way too expensive for one stick. Obviously, I stole that joke. That's really what the comments were doing. That video had like 2 million views and all the comments were just re really not a fan of his nose. My fucking nose is acting up. <laughs> Oh, fuck. All right. All right. Next up, we got a girl who is showing off her wardrobe. Um, I'm going to talk over this because it's probably copyrighted. Goddamn Frank Ocean. But yeah, as you can see, just showing off her outfit. She's a little bit short. Maybe, maybe you know, verging on three feet tall. And the comments were quick to point that out. She's a, <laughs> she's a five out of five. A cake is a cake, even if it is a cupcake. So, you know, they're being supportive, just not in the most respectful way. Open comments can't see her. If you don't know, when you click on the comments on Instagram, it like shoots up and covers most of the screen and it, it just covered her. Can I be your chaperone on the field trips? I don't know if this is some predatory behavior, but you know, I mean, it, it, it seems endearing at least. Next up, we got, um, this, this lady may have gotten it the worst out of anyone else on the planet. It is, uh, this lady here, she sells coffee and she posts videos of her selling coffee. And as we can see here, just being super cut. Here's your coffee. Here's your coffee. Here's your coffee. Service with no neck is beautiful. And the comments, obviously, the top one was, le thanks, lesbian Peter Griffin, 114,000 likes. And, you know, that one's just too real. She looks exactly like if uh, Peter Griffin was lesbian. So, you know, it's fair enough. And then we have Heavy Potter, hate from the back of the bus with Rosa Parks. As literally 60 years ago, and this person sending, his name is Slick Rick. Slick Rick is sending hate from all the way back there. Hate from the 16 Oreo sleeves in your pantry. Hate from Brazil, which is halfway across the world. My Amish friend wanted me to send hate from the Amish community. They don't even have iPhones. Spread, <laughs> spread joy or farts. I'm confused. I don't know how intelligent that one is, but it's there. This is a two-piece McNugget right here. We have one person, 
I genuinely enjoy your videos. The comments are crazy. I'm shocked each time. Keep making videos. Supportive. Let's see what the reply is. That's so sweet of you, little bro. Gonna jerk you off with my feet later. That doesn't even have anything to do with anything. You know, they don't always have to make sense. As long as they're horrible, then it's fine. Next up, we girl, got... Don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. Now, I will Just admit, it, this young it. lady is not very attractive. Um, I and then turned into like Tom Brady basically. But yeah, the comments were very quick to point out that this wasn't uh, wasn't very great. Uh, looks like a bugged NPC from Fallout 4. I've never played Fallout 4, so I took the liberty of Googling it and yeah, yeah, it was pretty accurate. <laughs> um, just, just very similar to that. Oh, it's methanol, which I guess, you know, combination of meth and fentanyl. Very creative there. Y'all can't lie though, this young man is packing some lactose in M thangs, some serious dairy. This person did not give a shit at all about how ugly this person was, so. You know, in some respect there. Just need a paper bag. That is insane. I just started stroking it. You know, not a single respectful comment. It's just all, it's either, there's two things you can do. Ugly jokes or I'm jerking off in the Instagram comments and there's no in between. Next up, we have a lady who's about to give some health advice about milk. Let's see how it goes. Do you know what's in your almond milk? This brand has now, natural flavors and fortified with synthetic vitamins. Instead, malt has three ingredients. I'm not gonna lie. Almond, water, and sea salt. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really listen to what she was saying because I was so focused on her prehistoric face. But uh, maybe the comments were supportive. I know a fellow who would hit that. I mean, we all do. We all have that one friend who would. She looks like she's from an English village in the 1300s. And yeah, probably stirring something in a pot all day. Stop worrying about what's in the almond milk and start worrying about if your mom and dad were brother and sister. Just so brutal for no reason. Bro's tucking it in, sure, sure. And then next video, try opening them with your chin. Uh, next up, we have gotten to the bad stuff because now we're going to figure out what happens when kids get on Instagram Reels. So you guys, please keep the comments so good because later my parents will be checking this account, please. His parents are going to be checking the account, so naturally he asked the comments to be nice. Let's see what happened. You still need that 3.5, little bro? He sold me fentanyl behind Dollar Tree. I didn't know Shawty was pregnant. Congrats, bro. Santa is not real. I thought we was gonna go on a two man. It's a child. You can't go on a two man with a child. That's a 1.5 man. You was the kid smoking cigarettes with Josh the other day. I need that gun back, bro. I really hope the parents took a look at those comments and were just absolutely mortified and also wondering why the video had like 10 million views. A lot of questions there. Lastly, we have this goofy looking fella and we're gonna have some really rough comments here. So let's watch the video first. All right, guys, I'm curious. Just by looking at me, if I were an expert in any field, what field would it be? I don't know what he was expecting here, but, you know, we got first off the I'm not going to read that one out, but you can see it. Uh, 23,000 likes, by the way. And then this person, I didn't screenshot it all, but he says, certainly here's the list and listed 140 different felonies. Uh, so that's that's great there. The. <laughs> My, your, the field you work in is the field. Unbelievable comment. Obeying orders. Now, that could mean multiple things. It could mean, you know, he's just a bottom in the bedroom. So I hope that's what that meant, but probably not. Anal beads manufacturing with a side of business of aloe vera lube. Um, I don't even know where this person got that from. Uh, it seems like the two side hustles probably, um, you know, go together. And then lastly... It looked like you steal hiccups. I don't even know what this means, to be honest. Um, but this guy said it so confidently that it's probably funny to someone. But yeah, that's all we got for the comments today. Um, brutal. Absolutely brutal. And what I like about it is that it's brutal to all forms of life. You know, uh, kids, adults, fat people, skinny people, ugly people, men, women, everybody. The comments are just so consistently on everyone. It's really a beautiful thing. Spreading hate, but equally. So yeah, that's going to do it for the comments video. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Orange Peanut wants you to subscribe because he needs more money.